Hello guys, this is me Bikram Adhikari and you are welcome to our YouTube channel Otrish Tech. Today, in this video tutorial, I will be sharing you how to generate reports in Qualcoder after completion of the coding. Let's begin. In order to do that, you have to go to report section and then there are several different options over here. Let's go one after another. Let's go to the coding reports. If you go to the coding reports, then you will see the list of files here, list of cases over here, and list of codes and themes over here. What you have to do is you have to select one and press Ctrl A in order to select all the documents. You have to select all the cases, select one and then press Ctrl A. And then again, select one theme or soft theme or code and then press Control A. Now all your documents, cases and the list of your code book is now selected. Once you do this, then go over coder and select the, the coder whose report you want to generate. So I'm selecting Dinesh. Once you do this, then if you run this report, then you will see the list of codes in this format. And if you want this report in a matrix format, then what you have to do is go over this transports matrix section and then select option. Here I am selecting categories by case. And once you select categories by case and press run, then you will get or matrix in the cases are in the row and themes and soft themes are in the column if you want to transport this then just select the transpose matrix and then run it once you do this then all the cases will be in column and themes will be in row let's create this matrix by file if you select this, then run. This is the matrix by files. Themes are in row and files are in the column. Let's reverse the transpose matrix, then run it. Now themes are in column. If you want to get codes by cases, then select codes by cases, then run it. The cases are here in the row and then codes are in column you can transpose them and in order to export all the things all these metrics that you have created by going over here you can select the format of export here i'm selecting xls format and then i am saving it in drive c my project folder and open and I'm saving it as a report one and save it. Okay, my file is now saved. Matrix, it is saved. You can select different formats in order to save these metrics. Let's create this matrix by file and then transpose it this is the matrix i wanted to export it in csp format project report csp okay okay reports they are exported in this way you can generate Report by file cases. You can generate your codes by file, codes by cases, etc. And export them in several different formats. Now, let's see the code frequency. In order to see the code frequency, go to code frequencies. Here, you can see the frequencies of all codes by coders. And if you want to see 
the course by specific file then you can select in a select files you can go to brief uh, you can select one file and then press ok once you do that then you will get the count of codes themes or sub themes by the name of the coders you can change by alphabetical order or the total descending so you can change the order you can export this frequency table in excel format let's see folder here yeah, this is the folder now the code frequency is exported it is so simple and now let's go to another option it's very interesting go to charts in chart you can create the old cloud it's super easy in order to make old cloud go to make old cloud and you will see the old cloud very in a very intuitive way if you want to save it then he, uh, you can select the location and then save uh, the old cloud old cloud one i'm saving it my in my folder you can change the color color let's say yellow color make old cloud this is the yellow color you can hit and trial for making the old cloud even you can create the pie charts showing the frequency of your codes let's see let's create one pie chart just go over the pie chart section and then code by frequency if you do this then you will get pie chart by codes you can create sound brush chart by frequency this is the sound brush chart like theme one in theme one so theme one and sub theme two and under sub theme one these are the chords under sub theme two these are the chords these are based on the frequency of the chords you can create the bar chart by frequency here this is the bar chart by chords you can create heat map by cases there are some eaters with this with files uh, for now uh, heat map uh, is a little bit it has a problem let's make a tree map by frequency let's select the frequency here this is the tree map under theme one sub theme two sub theme one and under sub theme two these are the the frequencies of the chords you can create so many different charts in reports you can view graphs in view graphs you can show the hierarchy of theme sub theme and chords in a very slick and intuitive way in order to do that go to the report and then view graph and in plus sign go to plus sign and then select all these uh, items and then press ok once you do that then your theme sub theme and your course will come in a very intuitive way you can even change them you can change uh, the location of everything over here and make them very intuitive depending on your need you can change them and you can export this image into your project the graph is also exported now in your project folder let's see our project folder here what we have done is code we have generated our code frequencies exported our code frequencies we have generated old clouds we have saved it over here we have generated a graph of the graph showing the hierarchy of themes of themes and their codes you can see file summary you can see the summary to of each files you can see code summary thank you for watching this video tutorial if you have any queries please don't hesitate to ask in comment section and please 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 
like share and subscribe our youtube channel